Well, coasters, I've uh, I've got the pleasure today to be interviewing Roger Morrison. And Roger, it's your 90th birthday today. Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. God, you're right. still in good nick too, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. That's absolutely fantastic. Now, what's your full name? Roger David Morrison. Roger David Morrison. Okay. Yeah. Did Did you have a uh, Did you have a nickname when you were growing up? Uh, no, but I got one now. What What is it now? Buzz. Oh, but oh, of course it is. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Now, when When were you born? In In Nelson. Yeah, and and what year would that be? Ninety yeah, years back, I suppose. Twenty nine. Oh, right in the middle of the Depression. Yep. Well, you picked your timing right. Oh, yeah, too true. <laughs> now, who were your mum and dad? Uh, David, uh, Dave Morrison and Ivy Morrison. They, they, and they both they come from the same area, Brightwater in Nelson. Ah. Yeah. And what did, uh, what did they do? What did your dad do uh, for a living? Dad was a, uh, an engineer. And oh, mum was just uh, all talked out for us kids. Yeah, mum was a mum. Yes, her mum was a mum. Yeah, and uh, a good mum. Yeah. Now, when did where did they meet? Did they ever tell you where they met? No, I don't think they did. No, probably, they, probably, they probably thought I'd spread it too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably talk about it. Yeah. Now, after you were born, you went you went to your first home with your mum and dad. Can you? Remember anything about your first home, like where it was, or yeah, it was at Brightwater, right? At River Terrace, uh, up River Terrace, uh, straight up from the hotel, and uh, yeah, we lived in that for. Well, Dad had it for seventy years, the Just... same house. He bought it when he got married. Yeah, and uh, we sold it, and it was seventy. He'd had it seventy years when he sold it. Well, that's a good run, isn't it? It was a good run. Yeah, so the Morrisons of Brightwater, a Brightwater family. Yes. I, look, I didn't. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's funny, it's funny, Coast, is what we all find out, isn't it, when uh, we get the chance to sit down and talk to someone. That's right. When you were a kid, what did, did you have brothers and sisters? I had two sisters. Right. Yeah. And are they still with us? Uh, no, both of them have died since. Well, and they and always reckon... They're older than me too, and I'm, the, and I'm the only one that survived. And, and look, they always reckon that us fellas, we, we hit away first. <laughs> Well, was the oldest as I should have. Yeah. <laughs> now, when you were a kid, what what did you do for fun? Hey, everything that was going. I never missed on a trick. So, so you wouldn't have had an iPad or a, no, or a no, cell no, phone no, or a... no rugby, rugby and uh, that sort of thing. That was about the only. I uh, I did. I played a lot of quite, quite a bit of rugby up in Nelson. Yeah. As yeah. A, as a schoolboy. Yeah, schoolboy. I was in the middle of schoolboy reps, and I think I, I think I had, uh, was in every every team but senior. Wow! In the Nelson team. Well, she must have been all right. Well, I don't know. I must have got, I must have gotten somebody's road and tripped them up. Were you uh, were you a stocky wee fella, or were you fast, or what was it? No, no, Christ, I wasn't fast. I I, I just had to put my foot down a, uh, <laughs> a bit more often than some of them oh. to keep up with them. When you were when you were a kid, was there a uh, was there a job you had to do that you can recall that you didn't like doing? Never, never, never. You, you I would say that I've from every job I've had, I've enjoyed it to the fullest, and as far as I'm concerned, it was play. Wow. Did you uh, were you a book reader? Me you Did you read books? Not a lot. No. I, 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 when I left school. I took over a, a, a family farm. Uh, it was a high country run in in in, uh, in the Warra Gorge, and uh, from my grandfather to they took crook, and uh, they got me out of high, uh, Milton College to take over the farm. Buzz, you've got no idea how many people have got that same story, Is that where, right? they, where they're only young, and their first thing is taking yeah, over yeah, dad's farm that. because he's crook or yeah. the grandfather's or something yeah. similar. Yeah, no, well. I, they, uh, I, I just looked after it and uh, managed it more or less for two years and then uh, they leased it to me and I had that for another eight years. Okay. Enjoyed it? I enjoyed it of course. Yeah. Sure. Where, where did you go to primary school? In Brightwater. And, uh, and then on the Nelson College when I left, uh, uh, left uh, the primary school. Do you, do you recall any of the kids that were at the primary school? Can you can you remember any of them? Did, did any of them? Any oh, of yes, them well, uh, mostly the 
spring and boys and the webbies and that, they yeah. live just around us. Yeah. And uh, we all, all do, seem to do the same thing. All get into trouble? Uh, yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> hey. And so then, then uh, you went to high school, Nelson Boys College? Yes, I did. What was that like? Re real good. Yes, yeah, no, it was, uh, oh, no, I, I think I only went there to eat my lunch, but, uh, uh, but no, I enjoyed, I enjoyed it there. The, yeah, um, I got into a spot of trouble here and there, but the, that was part of it. Oh, I can't believe that. I can't believe that. <laughs> now, did, you, did, you go to, uh, did you go to university or take up no, a trade? No, no, no. I never had enough brains for that. University of Life. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so if you had a... Um, I was only in stand, uh, uh, third form <laughs> when I got me out to look after, run the farm. Third form? Yeah, I was in the... Uh, uh, or oh, fifth form, sorry. Fifth form. Started yeah. in the third. Yeah. And uh, uh, the fifth form, and uh, the beginning of winter, I had to take it over. Goodness me. The, um, if there was a favourite subject at school that you had, what would it have been? Would it have been sport or would it have been. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't arithmetic. <laughs> <laughs> what about. I can remember <coughs> at Nelson College, there was first, uh, 33 in, the, uh, our uh, in their form and I was 32 equal and I bet that poor bugger that was 33 he'll, he'll have a job he hadn't formed for to get there yet yeah, well, so, yeah. I, I, so I was no scholar <laughs> yeah what about a what about a teacher can you remember a teacher that you you thought was good value yes I did uh, it was our engineering te teacher at Nelson College and I, I put one over him one time and uh, he thought it was a hell of a joke <laughs> and uh, what I did, I got a tobacco tent and I welded two legs in it and put a rubber band between it and a bolt in the middle. Right. Uh, washer. So when he opened it, he went, <laughs> <laughs> and he put it on the, I put it on his desk and uh, he, uh, he, he was, uh, he carried on for the period and I thought, oh, he's, well, this joke's going to finish up on me because he's not going to open it. And just as he was just about the end of the period, he opens it. And he, uh, <laughs> Did and he next thing she went, <laughs> he Did dropped it and let out a yell <laughs> and he just pointed straight to me. He said, Morrison, outside. <laughs> did he take it in good good heart? Yeah, he did. He oh. said, that was a good one. He said, but don't let it happen again. <laughs> with, the, uh, with the sports, mainly uh, rugby? Yeah, yes, I didn't. Uh, cricket, I was no good at that. But. I didn't. Uh, I can never see the ball come until I heard me wickets go behind me. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> As a, uh, if you had a close friend back when you were at uh, school, how would he have described you as a young adult? You know, were you like some of us were rat bags, yeah. some of us were uh, you know quiet. Yeah. What were you like? Uh, oh, well, I suppose I, I, would, uh, I wasn't actually a straight a rat bag, but I. <laughs> Well, I, 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 was a, I was a bit of a teaser. It's working around the outside. <laughs> yeah. When when you were when you were growing up, was there anything that you specifically wanted to be? When you looked out there, did, what did you want to be? Well, I think I, I, I think I finished up doing that. I think uh, I was a hunter. Yeah. When uh, Dad was a hunter, and, uh, and I took it on from him, and I, I've been a hunter all my life. Yeah, and uh, no, no, that's all. That's all I really wanted to be. But I've done a few other jobs in, in the in the meantime. Well, you've certainly been a, a big part of Westland when it comes to the hunting industry. Yeah, you know the venison recovery, the early days. Well, actually, not so early either. And then into the helicopters. Yeah, that's right. What was your um, what was your first job? My first job was uh, uh, shooting. Deer for skins in the Rainbow Station at the head of the Warra Valley. And how old were you then? Uh, I'd be around about 17, I suppose. Well, when I first left school anyway. So how, how did that work? My father shot for, for tails. and So you walk up the valley? Yes, the, the station uh, uh, station owner, he gave me a horse. He said, now take that horse. He said, and he said make sure you tie it up every night. He said, if you walk out to the next day, and uh, so uh, he gave me a rope, about a chain long, and I used to tie it up every night. Uh, and when I had a load of skins, I'd bring them out on it. And so you're there by yourself? Yes. 
Yeah, a little bit there. Cook your own food. Yep. And uh, I guess it'd be in the summertime. You wouldn't want to go up there in the oh, winter. Well, yeah, it was. A, I started it in uh, was spring. The shooting yeah. because uh, the chaps he had their shooting before him, they were shearers, and they found that when the she a few sheep were ready to shear, they could make bigger money. So they decided so they wanted to go on and shift on, and he didn't have a shooter. So my uncle was uh, talking to him one day. He said, "Oh, he said oh, I've got a grandson that'll uh, that'll uh, look out. Uh, uh, he's a he's a bit of a hunter," and he said, "Well, send him up." So I sent him up, and he. He looked at me, I suppose I was just a, <laughs> a kid, and he said, he said, you're going to have to ride a horse. He said, can you ride a horse? I said, oh, if I hang on tight enough, I suppose I could. And uh, I just carried on from there. And so in, in those days, when you went out uh, hunting, you'd see something every day or? Yeah, most days. I used to shoot, uh, shoot night and morning. And, and what, sort of, what sort of tallies would you get? Oh. Four or five? Uh, oh, yeah, four or five a day, uh, uh, sometimes more. Uh, but uh, you didn't used to shoot any more than you could skin. Oh, of I course. Had to skin them all. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, then you got to get them out as well. Yeah. Well, it took the skins off, and the and the, the station owner had a had uh, wires up in the edge of the bush, and to dry the skins. Oh yeah. So you dry uh, partly dried them before you brought them out. Right. Oh, yeah. So. You've got a you've got a list there of uh, jobs. What do you got on your list? Hey. What, what was your next job after your um after the, the well, that first uh, one? After uh, uh, that's what that's when I did the, the sh ground shooting. Yeah. For me, as soon as that started up, I I went into that. And where, whereabouts was that? In Conway, and so, Nelson. So what what shifted you to the coast? Hey. What what the bees? No. Yes. Was it? Was. I didn't know well, that. <laughs> uh, while I had the farm, I bought, uh, uh, or I started off about 50 hives, and I, I finished up with about 350, 250, that's right. And uh, I, uh, I just uh, carried on from there. So, so would that all be manuka honey or rata? Or no, what? no, it was rata down here. And it was manuka up there, but it was pretty uh, poor quality stuff. Okay. So I didn't, uh, I didn't really do much up there. So you shifted down to uh, Cockatai? Yes. And uh, you are by yourself then? Uh, for a start I was. I, uh, I did it well a single about three seasons and then uh, I got married and then we both came down. So where did you find your good lady? Hey, eh? Where did you find her? Oh, in, uh, in a dance hall in, in uh, Richmond. And, and uh, do you remember your first date? Eh? No, I'm not going to tell you about that. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Okay. okay. Well, well, we'll we'll delete that one, folks. <laughs> and uh, and so then you both decided to move to Cocktail. Yes, yeah. We uh, we bought uh, or down here with the bees, and uh, Cocktail store come on the uh, the old store come on the market. Yep. And they wanted eleven hundred pound for it. I said, I reckon I, I reckon I might buy it off there. So I went home and I said to mum and dad, I said I'm going to the coast to live. Uh, and uh, what are you doing down there? I said, I've just bought a grocer store shop. And uh, Mum said, you'll never make a bloody grocer. <laughs> <laughs> but, but was she right? <laughs> no. No, she wasn't, because <laughs> I know that I talked to the locals out there, and they <laughs> some of them still remember the days when you were uh, you were there. Yeah. And now, that's the, the location of that store is straight along the Cocktail Strait yeah. and right at the very end. It's yeah. not there now, no, is it? No, no, the old one was up by the top pub. Oh, the one you went to? Yeah. Okay. That I bought for a start. Yeah. And uh, then I built the new one down the bottom. Oh, okay. I built that. Did you sell it to Tomlinson? Uh, no, I sold it to, uh, yeah. no, Bernie Neen. Oh, yeah? He, he, yeah, he was a, or a salesman, a tractor salesman, I think. Right. Yeah. It was... Uh, all of those little stores and uh, and country hotels have kind of gone, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's not even there now. Yeah. So when you were there, was it uh, the pretty much the hub of the community along with the park? Well, we we one of them. Yeah. Yeah. At, uh, and it was a great place to do business. So I'd say Cock and I, uh, the people out there, they looked after me. 
Yeah, well, these, these I can remember I had 18 years there in business and I held my books open after I sold for three months. At the end of three months, I thought, right, I will sort the sort her out. And I, I was owed $14 something. Wow. Now, there's not many shops in Okinawa that can say that. Oh, uh, impossible these days. Yeah, it, that's right. They'd probably do that and lose that in a week. And so, Buzz, what uh, what came after the store? Uh, what Now, roughly what year was that? That would have been 70s, wasn't it? No, no, uh, no, that would be, I, I think I took the store over in the 50s. And did you get out? It was and, uh, uh, I, well, I had it for 18 years, so I'd be getting on towards 17. Uh, yeah, around about 1970 is when you sold to the next guy. Yeah. And uh, so what, and what did you do next? Eh? What did you do next? Well, I, that, that's, what, that's when I started ground shooting for there for meat. And I, I opened a, a venison depot up out there uh, for um, Jack and Meredith. I don't know whether you can remember when oh, he was married or Early yeah. name, uh, but, uh, yeah, definitely. But uh, no, I was his first, uh, at his first emperor, I think it was. And so you were ground shooting and you had the cooler there. Yeah. And uh, uh, who, who? that was when I had the top place up the, up the old shop. And and did, did uh, can you remember any of the guys that you started shooting with? Uh, yes. What sort of names? Yeah, uh, uh, Tom Leonard was the main one. He was a, 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 he was a real top hunter. Uh, and in fact, him and I, we, we joined joined forces in a minute and we finished and that's when we bought the helicopters. So he went in with us and uh, he was our truck driver. So Aaron Smith was another. Oh gosh, famous name there. And, uh, yeah, yeah. And he was the pilot. And so we bought a 300 between us. And that was that would have been right in the very early stages? Yes, it was, it was before, just before the deer capture come in. Yeah. So. What sort of uh, what sort of numbers would you on a, what would be the best numbers you got with the three hundred? Uh, in the three hundred or uh, ten or twelve, some uh, the best days, and uh, usually around around four or five on the capture side of it. And was that all around the Cocteau Quaternary? Yes, or? and Murchison. I did. I I had a depot in Murchison and uh, operated from out of there and lived at the Arm River Hotel for about two years. Oh wow! Yeah. And so, well, Murchison's a, a, oh, Tucky used to go up there poaching. He thought it was well, great. Yes, I, yeah, I can remember Tucky coming up one time. <laughs> <laughs> we had a we had a few, and it's the only time I ever went on the shop that I reckon I should never have got in it. Oh, is it like that? Yeah, <laughs> I can remember we were flying around the side of the hill, and Howard said, "There's a deer out there," he, and uh, he said, uh, and he started to go over towards it, and uh, I a lump came up my throat. <laughs> I said, chase around for a little longer yet. I said, I won't have any yodel. <laughs> oh, poor bugger. I know, I know that feeling. That's, that's pretty uh, horrible. And so um, you, you were involved with helicopters for quite a long time. Yeah, um, I, I, I had about 20 years. And uh, did you ever put one down? No. No. Well, well we did. We, we Nobody ever got hurt. And uh, one machine got uh, or wasn't right off, but it was because uh, it was rebuilt. Oh, okay. But uh, and the other one was uh, all tipped on its side one day. But uh, it was accident. The deer that run into them. It wasn't never the pilot's fault. Yeah, no, that's that's amazing. We had, we had a, a real good run with our helicopters. That's yeah. Uh, and we, did you always run three hundreds? No, uh, we finished up with. Yeah, we, we bought a 500 in the finish. Wow, which one was that? Uh, what was that? Uh, HPS. Oh, it, it's still around. It possibly is, I yeah, don't know. I, I saw a photo the other day. Did you? It was red and, uh, now that's that'd be getting pretty old now too, wouldn't well, it? Yeah, well, uh, we bought it in from America. Right. Yeah, and we sent an engineer over to uh, have a look at it. And with uh, moving from the, uh, from, I guess from the petrol 300 to the, the turbine, 500, pretty exciting. Yeah. And actually, on the 500, I remember we caught 20 one day live. Oh, wow. Yeah. And what were they worth, roughly? Oh, probably 1500. It was good money, I know that. I can remember buying a whole lot at around three and a half thousand, and then a week later, we couldn't get 400 for them. That's right. <laughs> I, I, I went through that too. <laughs> so, 
So where did where did you shoot uh, mainly with the uh, five hundred? Like it's pretty much anywhere. Murchison and oh, we we more covered a lot of country, uh, like Blenheim, the high, uh, the high country of Blenheim, and, and uh, Murchison, and all the west coast. And I had a I had a good permit system. Yeah, it covered the whole South Island. Oh, so if it was a it was within the South Island, it was within your permit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I even had for them. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Goodness me. I never used it because it was too far off. So what happened uh, when the, there was a venison factory started in, in Revel Street at one stage. That's right. Were you supplying into that? Yes. What, what, who, who was involved in that? Uh, 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 what's his name? Stewart. Dave uh, Stewart. Hey, Dave Stewart. Dave. Who else yes. was, was uh, John? Mick Rosnowski. Oh, it was Mick from Reefton, isn't it? Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, then I was involved in this one up here too. Oh, when it started? Yes, uh, uh, it was uh, three of us, three, four of us that set, uh, set up with that. Uh, there was myself, David Stewart, yeah. Basil Ford, and uh, Jagger Kelly, an accountant from Christchurch, from uh, Greymouth. Um, Milne. Milne Jelly. Milne Jelly, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah and uh, we had that first meeting and, and went on from there and finished up with still going. And then, uh, who bought it after you guys? Was it Mayor and Co. Oh, it was we too. We sold it to Mayor. But hasn't it been wonderful for for Oh, we have Every time I drive past, they're still looking. That oh, it's always got yeah. staff wanted. Yeah, you know, and that that's. Uh, well, I, was, uh, I think when we had the the final uh, meeting about it, I was that uh, when we sold it. I uh, I was the only one that uh, voted no sale. No, no sometimes <laughs> Cause I, cause I, I wanted it left on the coast, uh, and, uh, and as soon as it got America, it went from it went everywhere. Yeah, well, you certainly uh, like it. Once again, it was a hit of its time. Um, it's been huge. I, imagine how many millions of dollars it's poured into the coast economy. Mm. Has to be, it has to be millions. Oh, it would be. Oh, it'd be millions and millions of dollars. Yeah. And so what happened after that? Uh, bummed around. I had the deer farm down Mananui. Yeah. Bought that. And uh, we had that for oh, quite a few years. I don't know, I can't remember how many. Probably 15 to 20. Yes, long time. And, and then, have you heard that it's under the ground there? It's full of uh, garnets. So they reckon. Yeah, that's what they... I hope it's right. I think it's true. <laughs> yeah, I think it's true. I, I think, think it is. Yeah, I it's think it's good. It'll be good for Okadega. Ah, uh, well, they're going through the final stages now of overseas investment uh, approval. Is that and, right? Yeah, and uh, she'll be. Yeah, I want to see it. I want to see it go ahead. Oh, I'd love to see it. I, I just think it's yeah. it's so exciting. It's, a, it's one of the, one of the uh, future sort of things of uh, Okadega. Yep. For Okadega. Yeah, I, I I can see I can see Westland. Um, doing a lot in the minerals area over the next 20 years. Yeah, yeah. We really can. Yeah, so, well, uh, yeah, <coughs> as long as it doesn't go too big too quick. I've well, never seen many businesses that have gone too big too quick that they haven't gone bust. Yeah, well, and when you look at the town, we're, we're around that 3,500 people. We're not going we're not going up, we're just round sitting, about... Sitting at that? Yeah, it's round about, it's very steady. Yeah. Um, it's getting hard to buy a house here now because people... I know it is. People are rushing out and buying them as soon as you put them on the market. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot of people coming home to live. Yeah, that's right. There is too. And that's a really good sign. Yes. It's, it's a, yeah, it's a good sign. That's a, that's a good sign. So what what else have you got on your list there that we, we talked about? Oh, I, th I, th I think... Because I, I want to I cover as much as I possibly can with you. Yeah. Because well, otherwise you'll be into the Friday night session with the boys before we know what's going on. <laughs> oh yeah, this is this is the last uh, this is the last one I do. <laughs> I, I want to I make sure we we finish up here the last of it. Absolutely, and, and most of, most of the old ones are uh, odd ones of character. Yeah, well, and we yeah. all will. Well, there's there's not many round that are in the in good condition like you are at ninety. No, no. Uh, clear as a bell. You you've got a great memory. I mean, yeah. uh, one of the best ones I've, I've ever interviewed. Yeah, that, that's there. fact. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, it's a, uh, 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 no, no, it's good. So what, what else have you got on there? I don't know. Yeah, read, 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 read. Have a look there. Let's have a look. You'll find some questions you want out of it, I expect. Uh, wow. 
So how many pilots have you worked for? Uh, oh, I've had about, well, probably eight or ten. So you, just looking at your list here, you, you actually worked with John Dixon. Yes. A nice was, guy, that fellow. He was a perfect, he was a perfect pilot and a great guy to work with. And uh, what have we got, Danny Reedy? Danny Reedy. Recent he years. Was, he was good. Yeah, nice guy. Yeah. And Chris Cowan? Chris Cowan was a top man. Yeah, Chris is retired now. Yes, he, Chris still calls on me at least every fortnight. Oh, isn't that that's awesome? He was in there a couple of days this week there for a cup of tea. And obviously Les. Les, Les Mars. Yeah. Did you know him? Um, I haven't met Les. No. I've heard the name on a number of times. Yeah. Oh, Ken Hutchings, I see. Oh, yeah. Well, tell me about Ken. Yeah, Ken was the most productive pilot we ever, I ever worked with. Why? He seemed to know what he was going to do before it did it. I can remember an instance, everyone was coming uh, up from Haast one day, and uh, what do they call it? Uh, what we swamp the one belong to, the, belong to one of the Nolans. Uh, Copper Creek. Right. And uh, we were flying up this creek, and I saw a deer down in the, in the creek bed. And I said, there's a deer down there, uh, Ken. And he, all he did is nodded to me. And uh, he went flying on up the valley, and I he got up and all, but he knows just about our okay, and I, I turned around and said to him, don't you want it? And he went like that again, and he kept on flying. And he went up the river road and up about another K, Turned round and he got right in the river bed and come screaming down the river like that. And he went up in there, he yelled out, he said, You ready? And he, and uh, <laughs> I stuck the gun out the door and I shot the deer. Now, if I'd done what I thought he was going to do, do a split ass turn and see we'd get down to it when we first saw it, yeah. it would have rushed in the bush and we'd never seen it again. He had no idea what that deal was going to do before it ever did it. Experience, eh? Yeah, experience. Yeah, and, and obviously uh, good instinct as well. Yeah, yeah. So did you uh, ever fly with uh, Bruce Dando? Uh, yes, yes. He, he was a pilot that you always guaranteed you're going to come home. You, you, you might never quite as much on the hook, but uh, uh, he was, uh, no, he, he was he was good. He was short of where coming home every night. And what about, quiet. what about Tweezers? Tweezers has uh, oh. done well for himself in yeah, Canterbury these days. Yes, yes. You know? no, Tweezers, he was, he, he was reasonably productive too. So the, the um, Canary Road, when you shifted to Canary Road? Yeah, well, that's when I, uh, that, that's when I uh, left the farm. Yeah. And we had the helicopter and, and I went down there and we set up the, the helicopter business from there. And it said on the on the on the SPN. SPN. I bought it off you. You did indeed. Yeah. And yeah, no, I remember. And did you have a do you have a freezer there or cooler there? Uh, no, I had a, had a big chiller. Yeah, they had the big chiller. Yeah. There, yeah. But I didn't. You, you did use it for uh, Venice in a wee bit. But my, I had I had an agency for uh, buying velvet, and uh, a lot of people the, fa the farmers used to bring their velvet in and hold it in their freezer, and the boy used to come around uh, a couple of times a year and and uh, pick it all up. Now you were one of the very early ones into into velvet. Yeah, that's what, right. What uh, created the interest there? What what made you sit down and say, "We can sell this"? I mean, that, no, well, I didn't. The buyer, the buyers used to come around and uh, uh, and the, the, well, this one was looking for an agent. Yeah. So I said, "Yeah, oh, well, I wouldn't mind being an agent. I, I, uh, I shoot a lot myself." Was there um, were they mainly from Japan? Or Korea? No, no. It, it, was, it went to Korea. Yeah. But uh, the agent was from Alexandra. Okay. So I dealt with mostly. Yeah. And and the they used it. They they say it's an aphrodisiac. Yeah, I haven't tried it. No, I I, <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I couldn't imagine it being. Uh, much. <laughs> I don't. I couldn't imagine working. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. And so you you were putting through a lot of uh, a lot of velvet. Yes, there, there was times when they they'd pick up just about a ton from our our chiller. Goodness me! Yeah, we're a freezer actually. Yeah. Now, what about uh, the Valinsky boys? You know, the, yes, what happened? I, what happened with the first um, design of nets? And there must have been some cock ups there. Well, I, I I've got one that Sam built. Sam Belinsky, yeah, and I've, I've ex it's still now 
at the uh, bush centre, I, I lent it to them. And there's my, uh, the one I uh, designed for myself. Yeah. Sitting there. And so you, the other one's down with Peter? Eh? Is it down with Peter Salter at the Bushman Centre? Yes. And, uh, and I'll bet it's still there. And did, did you have, uh, was it, were they difficult to design? Uh, it was a design. I, and the reason I didn't use it, I didn't like the design of it. Yet it worked all right. It was, uh, it was just, a, it didn't suit me. Built it. Yeah. Yeah. But the, uh, when, it, when, it, when you fired it, the, the, it, it had the bends in the, all, the, all the mechanism and uh, it fired back towards you. And I thought, no, if something goes wrong, uh, something go, like it, uh, uh, when it gets older, it might, might be dangerous. So I wouldn't use it. Was it, did they have a, did they have a kick with them? Hey? Did they have a bit of a, a they have a real kick with them? Oh yeah. Yeah, oh, I guess someone, someone was terrible. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that one doesn't. And so w when you first started catching the deer, did it make a difference financially? Did you make a lot of money out of catching them live? Yeah, I did. Uh, actually, it was a good good business. When we, uh, yeah, no, uh, I got to we, we, we did. We made good money. And were you surprised around, uh, I think it was around... Uh, uh, 86, 87, when the arse dropped out of the market. Yeah. Did that surprise you? Uh, no, it didn't. And because I felt uh, uh, that it was going too big too quick. And, I, and I've and i always been, it's always had the idea that a business that goes too big too quick doesn't hardly ever survive. Yeah. Yeah, I've been there, I know what you're talking about. Eh? <laughs> I've been there, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, how old were you when you first started dating? Dating? Yeah. Were you, were you oh. 16, 18, 20, 25? Oh, I, suppose, I don't know. I don't know. A young man? I, I, I was young and silly. Well, we, <laughs> we, we, we all were. And look, how would you how would you describe your wife of many years? Um, how would you have described her? Personality. What was the thing that you most well, admired she, about it? Yeah, yeah, no, she she was a quiet, uh, quiet living person. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of religion in her, but uh, but uh, she got used to the other. And, and a very strong, able, 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 strong old lady. She could keep you in control. Uh, uh, must have done. Well, <laughs> it, w it wouldn't have been easy. Hey, <laughs> so, so how long were you married? Uh, that's uh, or. Well over fifty years, probably getting on towards sixty. Yes. Yeah, yeah, well, I remember having their fiftieth here in Hokitika. Goodness me. The um, how many kids did you have? Two. Two, and and, uh, and both of them still around. Uh, Doring is, and David is, and uh, and Blenheim. Yep. And and um, obviously, do you, do you remember hearing your grandparents when when you you met your grandparents? I guess. Yeah. Some of them? Yeah, oh yes, I took the farm over on probably. And so, did you did you meet four grandparents or did you meet two? Uh, or how many? The one I, uh, the first one on the Morrison side, uh, grandmother died when my dad was only seven year old. Okay. But uh, I can remember the grandfather, he had a big white beard down about here. And he used to comb it every day. Can you, uh, can you remember anything he said that stuck hey. with you? Can you remember, do you remember anything that he said to you that you were talking about that stuck with you, with your life? You know, a bit of advice, no, a bit I of, can't you know? say that it probably got, I've been in, in, in that era and out that one. Oh, you've oh, been young, you see. <laughs> yeah. Now, Buzz, what do you reckon are the most important inventions that you've seen in your lifetime? Because 90 years is a, it's a, it's a big number. Yeah, so be, you've yeah. seen a lot of things. Oh yes. What are the what are the most important things you've seen that have come along that have changed everything? Oh, there's quite a few things, really. Yeah. Yeah. At the, uh, uh, I've always been one for progress, and uh, at uh, any anything I saw come on that I thought it was uh, it should go ahead, and there's not many of them haven't. Uh, there's odd ones that went too quick and uh, went down the drink. Yep. You, you'd have, uh, like I guess one of the, the big changes that we've talked about is the helicopter. 
you went yeah. from ground shooting yeah. and suddenly you're in the air. Yeah. Did you ever fly yourself? Never. Wise man. No, no. <laughs> I reckon I made a, pilot, a poor pilot and one of the pilots did say to me, why don't you do your ticket? He said, you got a chopper? You, got, you, you, don't, you don't have to worry about paying for a, a flying. Uh, you, you can do the flying on the way home and and, uh, and I'll do the work. Yeah. And uh, I said, no, I'm not interested. Because I reckon I've made a poor pilot. Were you a good shooter? Hey. Were you a good shooter? Not near as good as John Singer. No, no, no one is, though. <laughs> no, you're right there. No one is. <laughs> John Singer would have to be the top man as far as I was concerned. And uh, he, he was in opposition, but he was a good opposition. Yeah, his instinct in he, the air was good, he, wasn't it? He, 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 was a, uh, he was a good shooter and the cleanest shooter you'd ever see. Even when he went to gun him. I reckon John could have went out in his going out clothes and come back and went out after he come back from shooting. He, he, no blood on his hands, no blood on his clothes. <laughs> Just like and that. And we used to come back covered in it. Well, Tuck, Tucky told me a couple of times that uh, Singer kept him alive. Yeah, he Because of his instinct in the yeah. air. He had, he had a way with you, with him. Yeah, he reckon that. In a humorous way, too. Yeah, he reckon he could see wires when there were no wires, and, he, well, you know, yeah, when no yeah. one else could see well, them. He, he, he covered a lot of country. Yeah, he's been yeah, around. He went for a long time. Did, uh, when you were at home, when you were, did you, did you always have a fridge? fridge? Back when you were a kid? Fridge? Yeah, fr refrigerator. Yeah, I started off with a meat safe, but uh, uh, the, uh, no, finished up with a fridge. And can you remember roughly when that was? Did you always have a TV? When did the TVs oh, first come I in? Never, I never had a TV like up to Huck and Huckabee. I love it. Hey, so, how's, how's the world different today than what it was when you were a kid? Going, going, too head, too, uh, going ahead too quick. That's my, uh, my version of it. Yeah. yeah. Changes it changes yeah, so it's, fast. It's, it's, it's happening too quick. We and it's hard to keep up with, isn't it? It is hard to keep up with. Yeah. Was there a person in your life that you met who changed the course of your life? You know, some, was there someone who came along who, who, from whatever direction, and you went, "Geez, I, that's a great idea. I'm going to do yeah. that." Yeah, no, was there anyone was. Who, anyone particular? No, nobody. Yeah. No, yeah. I did exactly what I wanted to do all my life. Never worked for anybody in my life. Oh, that's fantastic! <laughs> oh, I love it. How would uh, you, know, you know? Come tonight, uh, of course, the boys are going to turn up again, and uh, you'll be having a few. Uh, oh, see, yeah, we'll have seven or ten. Yeah, a few quiet ones. And um, how would they describe your sense of humour? Oh, well, you'd have to ask them. <laughs> I did. I, I was going to ask old Jim, but I thought, no, I better not. I better ask. What do you think that they would say? Hey, oh, oh, I'm you not know, too sure what they'd say. Well, you've got a you've got a very quick laugh, haven't you? I hey? mean, one of the things I've I've known about you for ever since I've met you is that yeah. you smile. Yeah. You've got a well, very I, quick I smile. I reckon laughing uh, is the best medicine you can get. Great bit of advice. You ever met any famous people? Did you ever meet uh, Tim Wallace? I did. I, I, I met Tim, Tim uh, on quite a few occasions. And what was he like? He was good. I, I, uh, he was in, a very interesting man, uh, but he'd done a lot. And I suppose that's what, where your interests come from. Yeah. And I probably had this bit of the same interests, oh, very which, uh, uh, which uh, uh, why I listened to him. Yeah. Yeah, well, he said he's had a, a difficult run of late yes. with, with the family, and and uh, could in fact quite quite bizarre, really. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Really yeah. terrible. But uh, no, I've uh, uh, I, I rather liked him. He was a, he was a, he was a good man to talk to. Yep, and a very interesting man. So, what other what other famous people? I mean, who else can you remember that you've met that that's pretty special? Oh, oh my God! <laughs> you've met most people. <laughs> And can you uh, can you describe a place or, or recall a place where you felt totally at peace? You were, like it was you, uh, and and you'll know what I mean. Yeah, the, on the, I reckon on the beer farm. 
Yeah. Yeah, Mananui. I love that. Yeah, mine is beautiful out there. Hey? Out, out at Mananui. Yes. Yeah, beautiful place. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, and now it's gone. Yeah, well. Maybe we can sold it. Well, you know. Well, I, uh, one thing I can say, I was very pleased to see Mike Newley get it. Yes. Yeah. yeah he's he's the right man for the job. Yeah, he's, he's top performer. I'm going to interview him one day. He doesn't hey. know it yet. <laughs> and, no, but, he'll be an interesting man. Oh, yeah. He's, he's done a lot, hasn't he? He has. So have you done everything you, you always wanted to do? Anything left undone? I'm, no, I, I don't care now. The cow chaos of the ball works his neck. Jeez. <laughs> 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 so, so uh, okay. If you, if if there was a lesson that you've learned in your life that you would like to pass to anyone watching yeah. this, any of the coasters watching it, yeah. and what would it be? There's just one that you, you think would help. You know, that's worth. Well, do, do your own thing. Do it properly. Yep. And uh, and uh, mind your business. The your life could have gone. In, in different paths, couldn't it? Yeah, could. But but in actual fact, in your case, the yeah, paths were chosen by you. Yes, all right. I did everything I wanted to do. And there wasn't one job that I ever did that I didn't like. Not one. Well, Coasters, that's, that is uh, Buzz Morrison, Roger Morrison. His uh, 90th birthday was yesterday. Um. For those of you that that uh, want to get access to the full copy of this interview, you can go to the Coasters Club YouTube channel and type in Roger Morrison, a coaster. Now you can also go to the Hoka Ticket Museum where there's a copy of this full interview and uh, once again just ask for the Roger Morrison interview and of course it'll be played on the Coasters Club over the next several weeks in about seven different sections. Every one of them is interesting. It's been fantastic. Roger, thank you so much for talking for us, for talking with us. Yeah. And uh, and I'm hoping that a number of coasters who are watching this will pick up the phone and give you a ring or turn up to your Friday night session. <laughs> oh, they're, they're most welcome. <laughs>